the lion's share of the carbon footprint of a shoe is in that first phase, the shoe making phase. That's all the materials going into the shoe and all the manufacturing energy to convert those materials into the shoe. So we have been working uh, with our suppliers to, to foster and, and drive this renewable energy agenda. I think once you have this one project, this trigger that has this slogan, the low carbon shoe, it's also easier to bring that into context with our suppliers. So they also understood the, the role that the energy plays in the, in the whole process. If you're only focused on one part of the shoe creation, uh, then you're not really calculating the true effect, the true contribution to climate change. We've had to look everywhere to keep shaving down carbon, uh, to keep driving this carbon footprint to the lowest. Uh, people were calling up shipping companies like you call up a rental car company. Do you have a ship that runs on biofuel? It's now bio-based ultra low carbon fuel that is actually derived from recycled cooking oil. And then when you start looking at packaging, we wanted to basically get as many products into a container as possible. And that has led to a really kind of unique shape, almost a cone shape that nests into the master carton. Those master cartons perfectly nest into the shipping containers. So we're shipping like 30% less air around the world. You know, if you have a project like this, and a target like this, in a circumstance and environment like this, put it under time pressure, and you're, you're impressed what people get out of it. You're like, okay, we need to get it done. We have a job to do. We have a mission here. Yeah, it, it feels like a, a project we're gonna think back on and say that's when a lot of things change. You know, we're not gonna go back, right? We can't forget everything we've learned.